don't give a day. <laughs> and I am proud to announce my recent engagement with the Sarah Sch Schmidt. <laughs> and I'm still lonely ever since my wife, Sarah Smith. Oh. 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 And we are Channel 7 News, <laughs> bringing you the best top stories. Scientists have recently discovered that the key to a long, but not necessarily happy life, is breathing. Yes, you heard that right, breathing. <laughs> Take a breath in, and then breathe out. Well, that is very surprising news, but good to know. I know that I definitely struggle with that from time to time. <laughs> Another sign of that. Have you noticed the distinct lack of ducks in the Rexburg area? That is probably because ducks and other birds fly home for the winter. Well, local duck experts have been killing ducks to find out why ducks see here at Rexburg. <laughs> Their research points to humans as the leading cause <laughs> Moment of silence for those brave ducks. <laughs> Speaking of animals, a local squirrel fills a farmer's pickup truck with 42 gallons of walnuts. There's not much else to say about that other than the fact that it is absolutely. Bonkers. <laughs> I didn't feel quite so poignant. That's something that makes happiness Agreed. <laughs> Danny Dolphin, a Rexburg Island oh. native, is going to his first therapy session this weekend. Is there any news as to what has him so down? Well, the head zookeeper has told us that Danny Dolphin has lost his sense of porpoise ever since his release from SeaWorld. <laughs> Eastern Tennessee natives are aglow after a local nuclear power plant has been opened. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission has yet to be by to inspect the building despite the multiple safety concerns. Sorry to interrupt, still lonely, but we have just got word that your grandfather has just passed. Is this seriously the time to like TV? His bar exam this afternoon. <laughs> you must be so proud of him, still lonely. It would have been better if he died. <laughs> well said. Lawyers are, in fact, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> this next segment is bound to cheer you up a bit. It's about those fluffy little trash pandas, raccoons. <laughs> this is bound to be an adorable story. Oh, it is. What? Did you know that most raccoons cannot pilot plants? <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, yes. But despite the sad news, we happen to have backstage one of the lucky few who has had the proper training and licensure to be able to operate a small blade. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Raccoon. <laughs>